stand up South Africa. Make sure that South Africa, you are counted with me. Run South Africa. Stand and make sure that our people understand that the need to be revolution in South Africa is guaranteed that under the EFF, this country will be the better. EFF is a COVID thing. Good morning, Africa Zonga, Africa and the world. My name is Titus Tungo, and on today's episode of the EFF podcast, we begin by getting the atmosphere, getting the sense of what the people of South Africa have to say about the 2024 uh, national and provincial elections. I would vote for EFF because, first of all, Julius Malema is against barking, race, racist people. Like, there are a lot of schools whereby there's still uh, white people who are racist and they don't treat uh, children the same. And they like to working, demote black students, especially black girls with uh, puffy hair. Some schools, like especially Indian schools, they don't allow us, uh, the, the high school and primary I used to go to, they used to make us cut our hair or keep it plated, but theirs, Loose to, used to be like let loose and everything so it's like they're taking away our beauty so that they can be they can feel better about themselves so that yeah okay. Um, Alright, I did register to vote. I voted because I would like to see uh, changes in this uh, South Africa, especially where people is homeless and especially for the hospitals where the people has got no medication, uh, no bedding, windows is broken and I will also appreciate if people doesn't stay in places that is broken down, just hijack buildings because that is where the highest risk is. So it will be appreciated if the housing can be sorted out as well, as well as the water and electricity that's always a problem, it's always a shortage. And also the trans, the trans, the transport, metro, trains and things, that's the problem we are having. So yes, I think that will be it. So do you think the EFF can make those changes? I'm sure they will be able to do that. Um, I don't see a problem with that uh, because they are, I can see they're on the right track. Um, although people does differ because of uh, things that is said, the things, but I still believe things can change and uh, we can become all one big family in the South Africa. I will vote for the AFF because I see they really want to make a change and that uh, they are fighting for the right things in, in the, this country. Do people who say the AFF is a racist party, what would you say to them? I will say it's not really that they are racist. They've got these songs that they are singing, I understand. That is because they've got their backgrounds and everything happened in the past. I don't think they are racist because they are saying they are fighting for everybody for a better country. So I believe that is why my reason is I will be able to do that as well. Greetings Africa Zonga, the continent and the world. My name is Titus Tungu and this is the EFF podcast. We're coming to you from Winnie Madigizela Mandela House. And on today's edition of the EFF podcast, we're joined by the city of Joburg. Uh, MMC for Public Safety, Dr. Mdini uh, Chwako. He joins me now in studio. A very good morning to you, mm-hmm. uh, Dr. Uh, Chwako, and welcome to the EFF podcast. Good morning, Titus. And, yeah. uh, yes, good it morning feels to so your listeners. <laughs> it feels good to be <laughs> home, isn't it? Yeah, you know, home. home is always nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's no place like home. Yeah, after going to all these media places and places you don't, you know, they're not called home, but... I feel much more relaxed here. Yeah. yeah, it's I like see. I can talk about anything. <laughs> I see now. Yeah, yeah. no, welcome. Thank and you. Um, you have been deployed, given the responsibility yeah. by the EFF to be in the city of Johannesburg uh, portfolio of public uh, safety. Mm. Uh, when you were deployed there, when you arrived in that office, what was the status quo, and what of some of the things that you were able to turn around? Look, it's, um, 
it's always a a privilege really to be deployed by the by the economic freedom fighter by the party itself mm-hmm. because it says to you as a deployee go there to a depl- to a department and represent us and then also when you go to that department you need to implement mm-hmm. the the manifesto of the EFF because remember the manifesto of EFF it was uh, as a result of the consultation from the people oh, yeah so people said that you must fight crime mm-hmm. and you must increase roadblocks mm-hmm. and then do search and seizure and uh, you know uh, increase the capacity mm-hmm. of the law enforcement mm-hmm. to deal with drug dealing the drug dealers mm-hmm. to deal with the issues of the you know gang related crime and all of that mm-hmm. so when you go there and being deployed you need to look at the manifesto of the EFF Mm-hmm. and also and then start implementing it yeah. to the t so when we got there you the, the the what we first did was to do a consultation yeah. with the employees mm-hmm. to really ask you you can't just go there you know we've been we've been taught in the EFF that you know you need to consult the people you need yeah. to listen to the people what you don't is impose happening yourself. you don't impose you must just go yeah. there and listen what are the people saying yeah. and how are they mm-hmm. and what are the issues and how can you deal with them so mm-hmm. we went there we Uh, went around all uh, the, the 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 areas of um you know uh, JMPD I can say public safety because mm-hmm. in those meetings we went and saw the JMPD mm-hmm. uh, department we've uh, we went we've listened also to the licensing department mm-hmm. we've listened to the people of disaster yeah we've listened to also to the people to the workers of the IIOC Mm-hmm. that is your camera unit that's oh. what yeah it's a surveillance yeah. and camera unit there's that, there's that department on that does that looks at the surveillances mm-hmm. you know so when i was done with, the, with that consultation and listening to people's issues we came up with a rough about 580 complaints mm-hmm. by the looks of it that and majority of those uh, complaints were hr related mm-hmm. One was that the people they were, were supposed to um, implement what is called a PFA. Yeah. Um, you know, like um, th- that is the they they call it a, like it's a rate of pay because the rate of pay for for people was different. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll find that other people were paid at this rate and others were paid mm-hmm. at a different rate. Mm-hmm. So there was a lot of those issues that were there and then number two, that people there was no progression people when oh, you enter JNPD yeah yeah no in terms of progression so if you enter mm-hmm. as an officer you don't know what the, what's going to happen with you maybe by the grace of God or by the holy spirit you are going to be a constable then constable oh, by the I grace see. of God you will be an inspector <laughs> oh, maybe someone like yeah, there's no yeah. progression plan oh. Okay. So that has demor- demoralized a mm-hmm. lot of the officers within JMPD. Mm-hmm. Um to a point that you had others who were working for 30 years and they've never been promoted. Mm. And the others working for years and years act- in an acting position, you'll find that an officer maybe will be uh, you know uh, from a, a constable, maybe he'll be acting as a what, you know, as an inspector or something yeah. for example, acting and acting. So there's not been A, a a a a you know a paying attention to the HR yeah. issue in JMPD and that resulted in a lot of morale. There was a oh. low morale in JMPD okay. because people felt redundant, redundant, and you know, and and also there was an introduction now mm-hmm. of the qualifications. Oh yeah. Now you've got people with who were in this in the police department for some time. Uh, the JMPD they did mm-hmm. not have the qualification but others yeah. had a matric oh yeah you know but they were recruited back in back the then. days uh, yeah. yes so there was no requirement of a qualification yes. so uh, and these are these are very good JMPD people mm-hmm. very very good they do their work they're submitting stats but you find that now when there are positions of mm-hmm. maybe a, a superintendent or a troop superintendent yeah. or a did they are being overlooked Okay. Whereas now they had these number of years mm-hmm. being of in experience. the unit of experience, yeah. mm-hmm. but 
Now, when these positions are vacant and open, yeah. now they, they, they can't uh, get oh. in. So there's that problem that is there. I know that the acting HOT currently, the way that he did, um, he managed to manage that kind of a problem was to create now sort of a way that these people can be upskilled mm -hmm. within chain with, within the EMS. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. So EMS has been sort of doing very well in terms of taking all those who don't have any qualification, put them into a a, a, a program to upskill mm -hmm. them. Oh. And over the years, now you find that, you know, it's, it, it has started to, you know, mm -hmm. to, to be fine. Guys are being placed in position. But in the JNPD, mm -hmm. which is about 6,000 of them, that was left hanging. So you had a lot of people, the, the officers who were very unhappy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, and then also you find that uh, in the JMPD, many people, um, lots of the officers, they they, they did not have, e, depend on this thing, so, e, <laughs> what is it? Uh, Uniform. Oh, uniform. Oh, yes. yeah. They were last issued uniform two or mm -hmm. three years ago. Mm -hmm. And then so you can see them, some of them, that their shirts are, 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 are worn out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, worn. Mm -hmm. So uniform, even in EMS, they were not being issued with the uniforms. Mm. Then when you go there, also cameras are not working. I think uh, those cameras in town are supposed to be working at 100%. Mm -hmm. Now, when you go there, they were, they were operating at about 48%. So we did not see what's happening in the parts of Hillbro, other parts of town, mm. CBD. So with all of those challenges, so we had to steer the ship um, and deal with the issues of HR in the JMPD, deal with the issues of HR in EMS, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, deal also with the issue of HR in the licensing department everywhere. So it has been an uphill battle in yeah. terms of you have to balance service delivery and also ensuring that the wellness of your employees yeah. is fine. We have to boost this morale. We need to motivate the people. And what was also very, <clears throat> that was not very uh, good as well, was that many of the law enforcement officers, they have not uh, practiced shooting for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Others as far as two years to three years. Remember, every three months, you must go to the shooting range. You must okay. always be shooting, practicing yeah. shooting every time. So that challenge, it, it is still there, but at least now we, we've ordered more bullets. Mm -hmm. I mean, have you seen the new unit that we've launched? We've yeah, ordered, we're ordering more bullets and more guns, and some of these guys, they don't even have guns. Yeah. So we've ordered more guns, and uh, yeah, the, that thing it will be finalized very, very soon. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I think one of the last uh, challenges of which many people, they were one of the last challenges because others, I don't want to talk about them for security reasons. Because okay. if the thugs knew know what the JMP don't have, then they're gonna take an advantage mm -hmm. of it. Of course. Um, the issue of the of the of the vehicles. Mm -hmm. So I know that so many people are seeing JMPD and with, you know, uh, riding on those uh, quantums. Yeah. It's not about their doing. The problem they didn't have vehicles. Oh. Uh, okay. they, they were squat. You find them squashed like sardines. And what is so painful was that when they arrest a suspect, they must put the same suspect inside that thing. Mm. Inside endangering, that, uh, endangering their lives. Endangering their lives. Mm -hmm. And that thing is extremely dangerous. You know, that was the thing that was not making me to sleep every time. Hey, mm. If anything happened to those uh, uh, police, mm. uh, 15 of them or 10 of them inside that vehicle, it can be a major disaster. For yeah. me, that, that, that's why I was pushing, we're pushing the department to get our cars out from this contract because the city has signed a new contract now mm -hmm. with the, with the Afri rent. So they are, they, they've, they've actually gave uh, the cars, many cars, a lot of cars have been issued right now. Mm -hmm. So at least uh, it should be better now. And I mean, how highway pro, you know, the, the, the guys from the freeway patrol, if you look at the mileage of their cars, it was going for 450 now. Yeah. I mean, BMW, 450, I mean, imagine, was it's like, like what is that? And there were all of them, five in a BMW. Yeah. And so these we, are the people who would who suppose to provide services efficiently. Exactly. And also stop other people to say, this car is not roadworthy, exactly. but they're driving a, a car. Yeah, that is 450. Almost, yeah. I, mm. I said, you know what, guys? There'll be a time that I'll say no more fuel patrol, all these cars, they must yeah. be parked. But just when 
were going to issue that uh, moratorium and then the cars they were issued as you can see now they've got new BMWs mm -hmm. uh, they've been issued a bit but I want more yeah uh, we're still waiting for more because the idea is to have in each and every off ramp there must be oh. a fast BMW you know, I've been seeing quite a lot of uh, BMWs on yeah. almost every off ramp here yes. in Gauteng yes uh, uh, and that shows that this uh, serious uh, police visibility yes. and that is uh, you know courtesy of EFPN <laughs> government yes 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 no no we we the, the, hence you 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 ask me why is it manje namhlanje manje yeah. namhlanje is inspired by that okay. it means service delivery right now yeah not tomorrow yeah crime fighting manje namhlanje mm -hmm. by law enforcement manje namhlanje mm -hmm. uh, traffic enforcement manje namhlanje mm -hmm. because our people cannot wait for these services anymore mm -hmm. uh, anymore the anc has promised our people for a very long time in terms of we're going to deliver and mm -hmm. deliver so we need to as the EFF, we have that agency to mm -hmm. deliver to our, uh, 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 you know, to to our our people there. So yeah. that, that that's what has been inspiring also in in the Department of yeah. Public Safety, mm -hmm. is that if you go there, is that every time I'm asking when is this thing going to happen? Not not by yesterday, but to today. Yeah, we don't have even have time because there is money in the government. I'm gonna. There is money. Mm -hmm. Um, just that one. Well, if you you know it needs an, an EFF deployee with mm -hmm. a superior logic yeah. to really implement the, those policies because there is not a child's play. You need to think. Mm -hmm. You need to you need you need to uh, uh, use your mind because if you are not logical or you can't think properly, those administrators they will fool you. Mm -hmm. You will think that they service delivered, but there's nothing. So so every time you need to be ahead, mm -hmm. and also you must come with ideas. You must lead. Yeah. Yeah, well, you must, you must, you must lead. Obvious, being inspired mm -hmm. by the EFF, you know, manifesto and the policies. Because I'm going there to implement the EFF manifesto. Yeah, no more, not less. And uh, you know, if there also there's some new phenomenon or some in, in new issues that mm -hmm. we we actually come across, um, and, and, and you know, it is very imperative that you consult with the leadership mm -hmm. and the officials in terms of this is a situation. Yeah. This is the approach. Um, so that you are able to implement that. Yeah, and through the Namhlanje Manje uh, operation, what are some of the positives? What, what have you, the, uh, has the campaign yielded any positive results? Yeah, look, um, you, you're going to see, for, for example, now there has been a lot of focus on the buildings because mm -hmm. Manje Namhlanje said, let's clean up the city mm -hmm. because we wanted to take the city back to its former glory. Yes. Now, all of a sudden, the tension has shifted in terms of the building, you know, the hijacked buildings. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's a lot of product that has been done. Remington, that uh, if you go to Remington right now, it's cleaned up. The city, yeah. uh, you know, it, it, it is cleaned up. Uh, and then at the beginning of the year, Vanin Court, that people have been talking about, we're going to be cleaning it on on, mm -hmm. on uh, in January. Yeah. That campaign of Manja Mamshanj, when we've launched it, it shifted the attention of the city and each and every individual about uh, the dire situation or the... The, the bad conditions of our, you know, the, 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 these buildings. And mm -hmm. also, it has inspired the city to go back to court mm -hmm. and say, look, we've got a building here that has been closed by the EMS. EMS yeah. said that this building does not comply according to the Fire Brigade, Brigade Act. Mm -hmm. And the environmental health people, want to, this place is not conducive for people, mm -hmm. for inhabitation. Yeah. Then what do you do? And then I said, no, well... Um, also, in we said, look, uh, uh, what are you going to do? Because there's a court order mm -hmm. that says that you can't take people out. You must actually give them an alternative, uh, alternative. accommodation. Yeah. Now, then where do you draw the line? Because that, that building is going to fall mm -hmm. or burn at any time. People can die there. So what, what must you do? Mm -hmm. uh, we said, look, it's fine. Uh, we're going to um, uh, you know, evacuate people. Yeah. And we're going to come up with a, a temporary accommodation for now, up until the the Department of Human Settlement mm -hmm. can come up with a proper, you know, a, a transit accommodation because it's not there. I mean, there's no budget, mm -hmm. and it's taking. I mean, to to do an alternative accommodation, you yeah. need the budget. So it's another department. It's not my department. But I'm mm -hmm. told them that I'm going to. We have let us evacuate these people because anything happened here. Yeah. We will be um we will be held liable. So 
it then when the city went to court, the yeah. court said, please just evacuate. Mm-hmm. Don't uh, what's the thing I'm looking for? Don't uh, evict. Evict people, yeah. Yes, you must evacuate mm-hmm. if that necessitates that. Mm-hmm. So now we've got that. So we're able now to evacuate people to really temporal accommodation mm-hmm. for now. Mm-hmm. And then we did that in Remington Court Web. And then there's another one. I forgot this name there. Yeah. yeah, we've got two now. Mm-hmm. So there's another one that is notorious. Yeah, is a Venin court. Then from Venin court, they're gonna go to Casamea. Mm-hmm. These are the worst buildings that you can ever see. You know, there's a lot of crime. Is it that's the one that caught there. fire? No, no, the one and that caught fire people. is Usindiso. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's the one of Usindiso. Mm-hmm. That also uh, back in the days, uh, the EMS guys, they we the, the report we got from the EMS, they saying that they did. Uh, went to court and then Chief Fitz, which is an investigation unit of the city, mm-hmm. they did investigate as well. Yeah. And, but you know, these things of uh, court orders and then yeah. they say that you must get an alternative accommodation. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So th- that yielded that to Manjan Amtlanj and then we said Manjan no, 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 Amtlanj, let's fight Amazama Zama. Yeah. And then we went that decisively and dealt with them like Manj now. Yeah. Because that Manjan Amtlanj, it has created like the law enforcement and the EMS, everyone, it's mm-hmm. like they know that we must do things right now. Mm-hmm. We can't be like those people who say, no, we're going to have another another meeting of another meeting, which we're going to take the results of another meeting for another meeting. We say, Manj, they know. Mm-hmm. When the MMC is that, Manj and Amtanje, we must do that. And Manj and Amtanje also, in fact, of fighting crime, uh, before the establishment of this unit, we used mm-hmm. to saturate uh, saturation means that we all go and combat crime mm-hmm. in different regions. In Johannesburg, you got uh, seven regions: A, B, C, D, F, G. Yeah. And then um, there was a lot of crime in a deep slot. We went there with such. When we saturate Manjana Mtlanje, we we wipe it out. Mm. I mean, if you, I mean, when was the last time you heard that there's uh, any problems in, in deep slot? None. We passivate it. We don't learn. We don't play. You're in charge there. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. Well, we don't play. Alex. There was some other guy called Schoolberg there that was killing the patrollers because you see patrollers are doing the the Lord's work. Some that we must talk about. Mm-hmm. There are there are these things called the patrollers. Mm-hmm. They they are the unsung heroes. And I think that I think one of the proposals that I want to put uh, to the leadership actually to be incorporated in the in the manifesto, mm-hmm. we must formalize them. Uh, the EFF government must support fully. The you know the you know the, this you know the the the, 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 the patrollers. Yeah. We must support them fully. We must support them with a stipend, uh, give them a proper minimum wage, and then also we must give them the combating gear. Mm-hmm. Must give them bulletproof. Must give them torches. We must mm-hmm. ensure that we have a response. Sort of there's a software that they want to introduce. Even the patrollers yeah. that shows them where they are. At night, mm-hmm. they, they they did come to the public safety to to say that if I can adopt that, so that we can assign a response car to them mm-hmm. if they they are actually finding thugs. Look at these ones now in a, I, there's a, something brewing there in a, in like in a, Orange Farm. Mm-hmm. Orange Farm patrollers are becoming revolutionary. They chase thugs with guns, wow. and they apprehend them. And those ones of Alex, and then mm-hmm. there's something happening in Tiftot as well. No, uh, they just they don't have guns. They okay. chase someone with a gun. Oh, they chase someone with a someone, gun. They chase someone with a gun. <laughs> they don't fear for their lives. No, these guys yeah. are fearless. I don't know where they come from. They, yeah. These guys, they've taken that thing. They're in charge. Yeah. The only thing that they want, the EFF government must support these guys fully. Mm-hmm. And they, you see, these are the people, ne? like, they, they, they just stood up, but we're going to fight crime. Mm-hmm. We're going to patrol our communities. The only thing that they need, they need a support of a, a response vehicle, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so that when they apprehend these criminals, mm-hmm. uh, they are able to really fight. I mean, you know, if they have to arrest them and take them to to jail, they can do mm-hmm. that. And also, when they, you know, some of these thugs have got guns. Yeah, yeah, what? So, mama ne gun lapa. Some of them they charge. Yeah. They don't want to. How do you guys charge when <laughs> you no gun? But hey, hey, commissar. Yeah, we are charging these people. Yeah. Uh, Ask this one, Alex. You must, maybe you must get one of these patrollers here. Yeah, they are stories. We should. We should. Ah, their and, stories are. And uh, you, 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 <laughs> it's safe to say they are more active than uh, the crime uh, wardens, the panya panyas. 
<laughs> because I've yeah. never seen any panya panyas active on the ground. I don't ah, know. Maybe no, they, they are. I don't I'm know. not a spokesman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but I tell you, mm-hmm. the those 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 wardens are like they they see the, these patrollers. The patrollers mm-hmm. must be supported. I think mm-hmm. they will appreciate it quite a lot. They leave with them. They 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 leave with you know with the handouts from the community. Mm-hmm. What they do that which is very inspiring is that when our sisters, brothers and sisters are going to work in the morning, mm. if they go to work, let's say four o'clock, they wake up at three, they do their own parade, they accompany them yeah. to the bus stations. And then after when they wow. come back again, mm-hmm. they do that. They part while we are sleeping. These patrollers are patrolling yeah. around. And by the way, is the EFF that has mobilized these uh, patrollers? Look, we we there were a lot of patrollers, informal patrollers, which were there. Mm. But inspired by Alex, inspired by uh, by by some of the patrollers in in the Orange Farm, I said, mm-hmm. this actually let us expand it, because it must not be now within a certain region. Mm-hmm. Let's do this thing in a ward ward based. Mm-hmm. So every ward must have ama patrollers. Those are going to be the eyes and ears of the law enforcement officers. Mm-hmm. And in Alex, what they did when they've got block patrolling, mm-hmm. they put them per street. So so those ones. That's why in Alex you can see that there's no the stats has gone down. Yeah, because those patrollers is a they they are here. Yeah, they, they <laughs> yeah, they're on another level. They're on another level. Yeah. You don't play around in that Alex there. Mm-hmm. The only thing you know to a point where. There were hitmen. There was a hitman. Yeah. Uh, um, there were there, there was a, a person called Schoolback mm-hmm. who was killing them. Almost five of them have passed on. But they said about Pediman. Mm. They are they are going to they're going to intensify more. They go and those those, those guys they go and do search and seizure. Mm-hmm. Because these are the ones they see every day what's happening in the, the community. Mm-hmm. And then we made a decision. And that's also what has inspired this crime prevention unit, was that we need to have a a, a unit within the JMPD crime prevention unit per region that will be dealing with crime only. Yeah. Yeah. What? So, so that was also these these issues of the patrollers. They wanted a dedicated, uh, you know, a, a response unit and a response car it was to saying that let us have that unit within the JMPD. What is going to be working with them? There's going to be the eyes and ears. I mm-hmm. mean, if I can tell right now, most probably next week we're going to have a, a you know a. Um, a press conference, by the way. Yeah. In the history, they told me that in the history of uh, SEBS or in the history of mm-hmm. law enforcement, mm-hmm. uh, they 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 have never they have never recovered so many guns within a, oh. a short span of time. Yeah. It's only been ten. We know the ten days. Ten days, roughly ten days since we have established After that unit. They, they, yeah, the unit was About ten days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've configured 21 guns. Wow, or rate, 21. Yeah. Those boys, they don't play. Mm-hmm. And we meant what we said mm-hmm. using section 49. Mm-hmm. If you point a gun at a police officer, we shoot to kill. Mm-hmm. Must never do that. Never point a, a, a thing is never in the city of Johannesburg point a gun at a law enforcement officers or law uh, um, or the, the officials of the city or community members. Mm-hmm. If 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 the if the thugs and the gangsters they know. What is good for for, 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 for actually them? Yeah, they must never do that. They must think twice before they take those uh, guns there, mm-hmm. right? Because this is a city of, of, of Johannesburg, and there's a new unit in in, in, in place, and we don't yeah. play. They must ask those ones of a uh, uh, Hillbro mm-hmm. uh, last week. Mm-hmm. They must go and get the the, the report yeah. or what happened. And it, it sounds like it's a multifaceted uh, approach in terms of uh, crime combating. Yeah. Um, are you working together with the crime wardens? Well, the I've I haven't seen them as yet. We we have not worked together as yet. Mm-hmm. Um, 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 in the R cases when we did Amaza Mazama, we were parading together. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, of course, when you get that parade, now we need to vet these parades because in a parade now we see a lot of uh, private security. We even see a forum. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've I've from security like uh, like what what is it doing to the parade? Who yeah. are they? Who vet these people? Mm-hmm. You know? So 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 I've seen the Mapanyas come in as well, um, uh, four or five. Yeah. You know, 
Uh, but no, not much. Yeah. I don't know what was the idea in terms of uh, establishing those those companies. But uh, I've worked with them once or twice. But mm-hmm. yeah, but we have. And I must say, uh, from my observation, you are more active mm-hmm. than uh, the crime uh, wardens, and uh, this should be commended. Uh, you are, in fact, uh, doing your work uh, as the public representative of the EFF. Now let's look at the the launch of this unit. Yeah. Uh, you have partnered with Kolani um, uh, Kumalo. Yeah. Why did you bring him in the picture? First, I think that let me comment on the issue of crime wardens. Okay. You you, you must never reduce uh, uh, you must never reduce the JNPD officers to crime to the crime wardens. It's mm. not the same thing. Of course, yeah. These ones, there's a crime combating and prevention unit. Mm-hmm. Are the JNPD officers who have gone through training for two to three years? Yes. Who can they like? They, they are full, full officers. Yeah, fully fledged. Yeah, but fully fledged. Yeah. The crime prevention wardens of of Lusufi, mm-hmm. they were trained by, they were taken to our academy, by the way. He never said thank you, that guy. They were they were trained. Uh, they were trained there because, I mean, uh, we do train all traffic wardens in Ekuru Lane, some of them, we do take them. Yeah. Uh, in other uh, areas, we do train them because that's another in gen- money generating income uh, as mm-hmm. well. So when you are trained as a as a as a as a traffic warden, mm-hmm. um, you 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 can do bylaws, yeah. right? You mm-hmm. become a peace officer. Yeah. But I seen I've seen some of them carrying guns. Mm-hmm. I don't know where did they train to go to carry guns. Yeah, well. Mm-hmm. And you, you, you. That, that's why there's been a big war in terms of their mandate. Yeah. Um, now, I, to be honest, I see them driving BMWs. I've never seen them chasing criminals. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah. Well, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to drag me to that thing. <laughs> I, I'm not. You a, see the the mistake that they mm-hmm. they actually did. Yeah. Well, the, the problem is that they never ask. You know. Uh, the problem is that that's what happens when you don't ask those those who know. Mm-hmm. Um, when we went into the, the Department of Public Safety, we, we we asked a lot of questions through the JMPD directors, and they were not shy to impart mm-hmm. uh, messages. Yeah, well, they were not they were they, they were not uh, they were not really shy to mm-hmm. impart knowledge to us mm-hmm. in terms of what is uh, what is happening. So, ooh, you see the. They've hired six thousand, mm-hmm. right? So do the maths. Let's do the maths together. Yeah. Okay. What is six thousand divided by by four? So it's one thousand five hundred, mm-hmm. right? And then one thousand five hundred divided by five hundred and fifty odd mm-hmm. words in in your in the whole of Gauteng. Uh, mm-hmm. It means that theoretically you should be having three panya, I'm a panya panya per word, mm-hmm. right? But the manner, you are not going per shift. You mm-hmm. only get something like minimum between 900 and 1,002 uh, traffic wardens or crime mm-hmm. prevention wardens. It's because of the shift that they are, they are their thing is, mm-hmm. that they are working at. It's called a four-day in, four-day out shift. So the six thousand that you see, you'll never see those people, because they are. If you, you should have done six thousand for, for for Johannesburg only, mm-hmm. actually for the whole city, for the whole Gauteng, mm-hmm. you should have done something like six, twelve, eighteen, twenty four, thirty two, three thousand, yeah. thirty two thousand, mm-hmm. to have a serious impact. Mm-hmm. The six thousand for Gauteng is a drop in an ocean. Is because of the of the shift system that they are operating. It's called the four day in, four day shift. So in a shift in the whole of Gauteng, imagine mm-hmm. you will just have like maybe two panya panyas yeah. per watt, mm-hmm. which is not going to be sufficient. Because remember, yeah. they will have this concept of ten plus. Mm-hmm. I don't know where they, they they came from, but yeah, yeah, they yeah. wanted that. Yeah, and you've been active on the ground uh, fighting. Uh, Zamazamas. Mm. Uh, what is the latest now, and uh, what do you think should be the lasting solution? Look, the issue of the Zamazamas. What we did now, it's it's what is called a disruptive operation, mm-hmm. is to take their means of producing uh, this final product. We've taken their pendugas, 
So a penduka is when you take the soil, you put it in that thing of a, mm-hmm. it's sort of a bone meal. And then you put mercury, you put vinegar, you put all these ingredients there. Then from there, mm-hmm. you get this leech uh, that you'll be able to to get gold there. Mm-hmm. So that, the, the, that equipment, we've confiscated mm-hmm. it just to disrupt them for now. Okay. What is happening in, in Zamazama? Look, the guys, Zamazama is the people who are, it's an informal miners. Mm-hmm. The informal miners, like, you know, the Zama, even locally, you've got those Zamazamas. It's the guys, normal guy, let's say myself, I'm just working for my kids and yeah. I go underground, mm-hmm. go and get soil. Mm. And then I, I do penduka, then it, you know, I go and sell that uh, uh, gold. Mm-hmm. The problem with the Zamazamas is that, and we must get it right, it's a tough war. Oh, Be, yeah. it, it's the it's this thing, it's they what they do is that they um they they they, they rob each other. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, Ama Zamazama is just you know, you know, send people there, this guy they can't even fight, they don't even, they don't even carry a gun. Mm-hmm. But you've got these uh, a, 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 a security people. They mm-hmm. they hire security guys. Mostly, is the Lusutu guys. Okay. Uh, the guys coming from Lusutu and others are coming from Debel. Mm-hmm. Others are coming now with in Mozam, Mozam, Mo, Mozambique, mm-hmm. and within the the Sutu, there there are gangs within there. Okay. As well, so they know that good on on Thursday, Friday, they're gonna come out with the soil. Mm-hmm. So these ones come with guns and start shooting, oh. wanting to rob them of that soil. That soil, remember, it's rich mm-hmm. with, with gold there. So that's what is happening there. And especially now when we push them uh, from one area to another, they go and, 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 and concentrate another area. Oh. And they start shooting each other. They, okay. And others there, they shoot yeah. to, saying, to, to alert the others that don't come here. You know they want to mark their own territory. territory yeah. mm-hmm. So, so is is that turf war that is happening between mm-hmm. those those gangs there? And then sometimes yeah. you'll have between the guys that are wearing the yellow blankets, yeah. and then the other ones who are wearing a blue blanket mm-hmm. in in Lesotho. Yeah, one. Well, and then you've got now the Ndebeles now yeah. as well, who are also you know they they go there they want to fight and they want to rob and yeah. this and, happening yeah and and, and and when these happen the community or the residents are are caught, are caught I mean are caught in the crossfire yes, in the crossfire uh, yeah. residents <laughs> of uh, Jerusalem mm. uh, one day fled to uh, Florida police station yes. you were with them there on the ground yes how are you ensuring uh, public safety uh, 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 you know regard when such tough wars uh, unfold no we now what we've been doing every time we've got the uh, they must just be careful. We've got undercover units. Mm-hmm. Even last week we had uh, last last week we had an in the, the, the operation there. Mm-hmm. We, so one of our, one of the public safety informers they told us that something is happening there, mm-hmm. and we actually moved in. So they think that we are actually gone, but we're not gone. We've got our undercover unit checking the area what is happening. Mm-hmm. For now, we're doing disruptive operations every time, and. Um, and and we're looking we're looking for 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 guns. It's just that it has been difficult to mm-hmm. to locate where they hide guns. Um, 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 we were very fortunate when we did that raid of Zamazam. We found the guys inside the mine. We had mm-hmm. to go in the belly of the mine to go and find those guys. So what they do, they get those guns and then they go up, start mm-hmm. shooting. When we chase them, they go inside the hole. Oh, you okay. see, yeah. So mm-hmm. it's a they do what is called. It's a it's a, it's a Sort of a, a guerrilla war, mm-hmm. a guerrilla warfare. Yeah, he yeah, didn't run. Now, now, uh, uh, the 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 our communities must be very careful. Now, mm-hmm. uh, we've seen now in the bridges, especially in in around M two, mm-hmm. uh, if you have a puncher or your car is a oh. yeah, if you can uh, and maybe have a, a, a fault with your car and you you stop al- alongside the road, mm-hmm. they start coming out. Uh, oh. They start coming out, so we are going to do the operations around M2 here, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, and and we we've seen those kind of uh, things that are really happening. So our community, they must just be careful. But the operations are being planned yeah. to identify all these hot spots. People coming, uh, um, they, they 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 this guy they they hide under the, the bridges. Then when you have a tire puncture yeah. or 
you stop because of whatever thing they just come out mm-hmm. so that's why and they're heavily armed they're heavily armed yes mm-hmm. so that's why even our freeway uh pop patrol days there there's a move now mm-hmm. to send them to tactical because you cannot have guys from from freeway patrol mm-hmm. not being tactical they must they must carry heavy guns mm-hmm. ak47 yeah because because i mean they will deal with the cash in transit as well you know in the high, in the freeway mm-hmm. um they will come across cash in transit and all of that. so yeah yeah so the, the those are mazamas guys is the um, it, it it's it's more it, it, what what needs to happen with mazama is that we need to that 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 in us must be formalized okay uh, it must be formalized and then uh, the department of my minerals and uh, minerals and energy must come to the party Mm-hmm. Uh, it must be able to ensure that communities are participating mm-hmm. uh, in the mining in that area you see because you see that is the viciousness of capital because you know the capital they go to an area mm-hmm. extract uh, abuse people exploit the people and leave the environment like that mm-hmm. that's what we see there in the in the old mining areas where these mining people they mine and mine and mine and and, and leave everything so mm-hmm. we we need to ensure that um, the small scale mining uh, must be formalized mm-hmm. i think that the eff will be sponsoring a bill mm-hmm. on that uh, i know that in the department of they said they've got a police ah that, that police i we've never seen it i, I mean yeah. they, they were doing it for themselves yeah and so many people are complaining about it because mm-hmm. it's not being implemented anyway mm-hmm. so we must make it into law yeah and in in a nutshell deploying uh, soldiers is not going to not solve help. the situation yeah it's a waste of money mm-hmm. waste of money and a waste of time they could have given us that money we could have used it put it into good use uh, strengthen this this uh, this new uh, crime prevention unit and the tactical unit because that unit still need uh, a head gear we, we bought but it's not mm-hmm. enough mm-hmm. we need a uh, night vision we need more combat uniform yeah. we need more cars mm-hmm. so if the national government could have actually capacitated us giving us more resources mm-hmm. we could we would not d- disappoint yeah. you know um, um 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 look i don't know because even then they've got the niu it's mm-hmm. the national task unit within seps uh, i must say those guys we worked well with them mm-hmm. um you know um, they've got that attitude that mm-hmm. we have of wanting to really fight crime so yeah. that, that NIU it, it worked very well with the TRU yeah. with the TRU of the state of Johannesburg yeah. it's all about communication because the station commanders they do conduct myself and they also do conduct this unit mm-hmm. so but the national government and the provincial government they like to parachute them themselves yeah. and in the process they they actually get bent in the process mm-hmm. and make a huge mistakes yeah Talk to us about your partnership with um, uh, Kolani oh. Kumalo uh, when launching this uh, <laughs> tactical uh, response unit. What no, were you looking at? Look, uh, Ukolani <laughs> is uh, Ukolani. We we've been sort of, you know, I I I've worked with him in one of the operations. Okay. Uh, I I I. We did, or I accompanied him in on two operations, two okay. maybe two or three operations, mm-hmm. and it has been uh, one of the proposal to him that why don't you partner with the city of Johannesburg because mm-hmm. you've got an intelligence capacity that we mm-hmm. need. Mm-hmm. You know, he will bring that up. Mm-hmm. He's a very genuine individual. I've seen and vetted. Mm-hmm. Um, you know his way of doing things. Yeah. And I think that even the JMPD officers, our undercover unit, they've been very comfortable to work with actually him within the ambit of the law. Mm-hmm. Because every time when I was with him, I had to check that uh, is everything in place in terms of, um, you know, what is he doing? Yeah. And what I can tell you that he gets things done. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you know, he's got a very, very smart and, 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 uh, intelligent unit mm-hmm. that he's is running and they i mean will wait mm-hmm. and say no no the, the informer is coming with the information in terms mm-hmm. of where we're going to hit the, 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 the place mm-hmm. and then it will definitely be that we we, we, we did see drugs now i was so surprised like yeah. hey now nah, i'm a drug mm-hmm. and they were, they were coming out yeah you know so 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 it has been that 
that he must come and, and work closer with us. Let us sign and, and you know the service level mm. agreement with him mm -hmm. so that he can give us this information. Because in the department of, of in, in the JMPD, public and you know, public safety, mm -hmm. we've got many stakeholders. Yes. We've got uh, the firm which is consists of banks and other business people. They form a mm -hmm. conglomerate. They are working with us. That's why we, we actually give them some of our crime preventing yeah. guys to really pay for them and all of that. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we've got there's are also other security companies which are which have been working with the JMPD. Mm -hmm. They've been vetted properly, mm -hmm. and they work within this ambit of the law. Yeah. So I said, Golani, you've got this capacity, mm -hmm. and uh, I said, no, let us make it formal now. Let us do the, this SEL. Let us not, you know, try and help you there and there yeah. and all of that. Come closer. Let us work together. And also, because you know they were rejecting him in terms of Gogo Mojalab and all other yes, areas. Yes, yes. We decided to go to know we are going to you know bring him closer. We work with him. Mm -hmm. Um as you all know that uh, when they when a black person is doing something very good mm -hmm. and is uh, is passionate about mm -hmm. service delivery, yeah. There's a tendency to really uh, kill a, a, a person's morale. Yeah. And then the, I think that the EFF is good at that of uplifting black uh, excellent every time and mm. putting it up there. The EFF has been has been very good at doing that. And I think one of the things that I comment about is that even if the person, you know, is been is down, they, yeah. they really want to put him down. But the EFF takes that that person and tells them yeah. that everything it will be all right. True to its character. True to its For character. For the poor you know? and the marginalized. And the marginalized. <laughs> yeah. Know? So mm -hmm. we, we are in, in those talks and everything, but we do we are aligned together is uh, gonna be uh, we think of partnering with his uh, he's got a foundation called mm -hmm. Kumalo Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been doing the work with the undercover unit. It's not yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just I've been saying to him that come closer, let's be open. We've been working together, the mm -hmm. IOC unit uh, and also the K9 unit. They've been yeah. working. Yeah. Been doing the work. And the the the, the one of the things that <clears throat> You see, you see, Titus, um, mm -hmm. the problem yeah. is that Kolani has been exposing a lot of nonsense. Yeah. And exposing a lot dealings. of drug dealing. Yeah, very dangerous Kolani. business. Yeah. He has been, I mean, he told me, mm -hmm. uh, you know, some of the things, the, 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 the things that he has seen or the tip offs that he has got. Mm -hmm. uh, and those who are also dealing with drugs. And you ask yourself, but why a person who is doing this work is being um, marginalized? Marginalized. Mm -hmm. They are putting a doubt cloud over yeah. him. Mm -hmm. Because Golan was doing their Lord's work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? So it will tell you something. And you are going to see with this unit, we're going to make it so much noise because we're going to be arresting people. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be fighting crime fire by fire as we have started. Yeah. And there are people now that are, are writing love letters to us. Mm. And we've got our, our, our lawyers ready because we have no business with, you know, with any criminals. And we're incorruptible. We don't want people's monies. They can talk, take their money and go to hell. We don't want their money, anything. We want the safety of, of our people. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, lot of, there's going to be a lot of operation on drug busting mm -hmm. because... Tina, as deployed by the EFF, where we are none, we are, we are not party to that nonsense. Mm -hmm. we, we, we are going to ensure that we expose the drug dealers, we do drug operations. And many people, they are always looking down at Hillbro and Yovin. Mm -hmm. You forgot about Sentin. In fact, uh, drugs in South Africa becomes a very thorny issue. And um, you have outlined how, uh, as you know, the city of Joburg, you're going to combat crime and uh, drug dealings and all of that. Um, who is behind drug dealings? Do you have any leads when it comes to this? And are you finding any 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 breakthrough in terms of uh, combating or nipping it in the bud? No, look, the the undercover unit is working on that, mm -hmm. and it's a whole lot of variety of people. Mm -hmm. Um, we, but our analysis, mm -hmm. or the, the tip offs, they're always um, putting us, you know, pointing us at 
the areas, you know, these suburban areas. Mm -hmm. That's where this cook, this cooking is actually happening. Oh. Yeah, well, and then um, the, the areas such as Hillbrows and Yeovil are used as the distribution centers. Oh, as a as the yeah. So you'll find that um, the distribution from there, mm -hmm. there will be a guy who comes at certain time to Alex mm -hmm. to, 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 to sell uh, crack cocaine oh. or whatever. And then he'll go back. So they come at different times. Mm -hmm. uh, we caught one guy and, and he did saying to us that, um, you know, these people, they, they come, what intervals they come, they come Thursdays and Fridays. Mm -hmm. And they make a lot of money. Yeah. And the guy was saying that small, you know, those that small thing, the small package that they always carry, it's a small package. Mm -hmm. And so in that pocket, I can't even make a thousand rand, mm. that thing. Because they, they they sell it like very small quantities to mm -hmm. the people there on the ground. Mm -hmm. So that that's the lead. We, we we still it's very difficult to find where they, mm -hmm. they're actually cooking. Mm -hmm. But uh, there there are two places that we actually got a lead on. But we just need to check if our guys are, are really fine. Mm -hmm. So what these drugs are these drug guys are doing is that they they put people to be in their pockets. Okay. They get paid. Mm. Yeah. So the problem is so South that Africa, is their modest operandi. Yeah. The problem in, in South Africa is that a lot of people that are supposed to be fighting crime are in the hands of these people. Mm -hmm. They give you good money. Uh, maybe probably uh, money that you cannot refuse. Mm. And these and are that, high profile why, people. That's why the EFF manifest says that we need to pay our public mm -hmm. servants, proper monies, mm -hmm. so that they don't get into temptation of taking these monies from these people. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, I mean, there were some collections that they were alleged collections, even with Zamazamas. Mm -hmm. People going to go and collect money from the Zamazamas. Mm. They're, they're actually, there's the same guys with guns mm -hmm. who are guarding these Zamazamas going to the ground. And also... We, we, we're saying that there are individuals who are also collecting mm -hmm. at the spaza shops. Go and collect money. Mm. Mm. Like that. Others live. Others, they get caught by the community. Mm -hmm. Now, how are we going to fight this crime? Then? So I'm not going to do naming names. And yeah. Community, they, they, they know what is happening. Mm. It's just that a political leadership needs to come yeah. in and deal with this thing to decisively. Mm -hmm. On our side, the JMPD, we told them that if you've been found wanting, don't think that we're going to be on, on, on your side. We're mm -hmm. going to fire people. Mm. And we're looking now at the clause where we suspend people without pay. Mm. Because this thing of, uh, uh, you know, law enforcement, uh, you know, uh, corruption is crime against humanity. Yeah, It's treason, actually. Mm. It's counter, uh, you know, revolutionary. Yeah. revolutionary. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if we, you know, if we were in Cuba as those those days back yeah. in the days, Dala, you know, you could be subjected to a firing squad mm -hmm. because you are selling the the, the, the community. Mm -hmm. Once you receive money from drug lords mm -hmm. and you receive money from criminals, then it's done with you. You mm -hmm. you can't protect you know the you know the citizens. Yeah, and they, that, that's why some of them are ah, these ones we were able to clap him. This one, this one is our stooge. Yeah. They sometimes they do, but hey, we gave you money. Where's our man? Yeah. Yeah. They say, and then we'll give <laughs> But with our guys, yeah, that we we have in, in indicated other guys. I, I can say that we haven't got any of those uh, within the JMPD. We have not received mm -hmm. now any information about our JMPD guys taking bribes and mm -hmm. being, you know being taken in charge. We haven't received that at yeah. this point in time. Mm -hmm. But once we receive those videos, because we encourage the person, the people out there mm -hmm. to take videos. Oh, okay. When, they're, when, they, when you're being stopped by a JMPD officer, you can take videos. Okay. Yeah, you can take videos. There's no problem. You can take pictures. Why not take mm -hmm. pictures? Because if we, we were open like that, mm -hmm. you remember it's Cardinal Pillar number seven. We are opening that open, corrupt, free government. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and um, so yeah, so that that's that that is what is happening. So, 
uh, if people they get uh, 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 they are bought by the criminals are ah, we're gone yeah so i don't know uh, in 2024 when we get into that uh, uh, government uh, mm-hmm. province and uh, national mm-hmm. we must deal with that issue that uh, decisively mm-hmm. uh, it's going to take a lot of political will yeah to do that yeah and uh, <laughs> ever since you came to the city of joburg you have been on an upward trajectory mm-hmm. and uh, you know you have just launched the uh, licensed uh, satellite satellite station yeah. in deep slud uh, that is a breakthrough uh, yeah. can you just uh, talk us through that yeah that that uh, you see it deep mm-hmm. slud the people of, of this has been complaining mm-hmm. that if they want to renew their license mm-hmm. or they they, they they want to make a new license mm-hmm. after it has expired they have to travel to as far as Sentin and sometimes yeah. back. Mm-hmm. They've been looking for that station for a very long time. Yeah. And the, the guys have been dilly-dallying, not completing it and all of that. And So we went in there as the EFL. Mm-hmm. We we got a, um, you know, the support of the leadership of licensing. Yeah. They pushed, we pushed up until we, we, we said, let us get uh, some human resource anywhere. Mm-hmm. Let us get the place on and going. The, it was registered with the province. Mm-hmm. Only thing now we needed to ensure that but everything is in, it's fine, and then we can start it up. So yeah. it was. It just needed that a mm-hmm. political will. Yeah, just to push it. Wow. We push it, and then it actually happened. Mm. If it was not a, of this thing of the this uh, procurement system, the PFMA, which yeah. is creating a lot of red tape. Yeah. I think that we could have been very far in that department because a lot of ideas that we want to yeah. do. There are other areas we want to open. There are other areas mm-hmm. where we we want to open up a licensing center, also mm-hmm. putting up mobile units, you know. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, so so yeah, we were pushing like like that. So the licensing we're going to yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that is coming up. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> don't want to mention. I don't want to mention here <laughs> and get yeah. sabotage. Yeah, they, they sabotage the EFF. This before. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the problem is that, unfortunately, is that uh, you know, <laughs> you know, just cause us this line where it's a bit deliver. Mm-hmm. We want to deliver to him. Mm-hmm. There's nothing that we're dreaming about on a daily basis. You eat, think, how can I deliver? to my people. Mm-hmm. Like, how can I put that camera? Can I get that camera there? Yeah. Can I get, like, maybe a lot of officers there to watch? Mm-hmm. So we want to deliver, you know. So these are the ones of the ANC when they still think applying their minds and <laughs> one day, a meeting after a meeting to discuss the resolution yeah. of that meeting. Empty yeah. promises. Empty promises. Mm-hmm. Shame, those comrades are that tired, Shame. Yeah, they, 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 they are very tired. Go and rest. Uh, Sometimes I wish they can give me all those, those, those departments. Yeah. I will not sleep, <laughs> <right> man. <laughs> yeah. I will not sleep. Oh. I see you already, you know, I in the mood of sleep, being the, the, oh. the minister of police. You are ready. <laughs> to hit the ground running. Yeah, come to 24. <laughs> if, the, if, if, the, yeah. if the EFL would have taken maybe the, the pick it up, yeah. the environment, mm. and uh, oh, I was going to be sleeping in that yeah. uh, inner seat. Yeah. Oh, so, we're gonna be cleaning every day. Yeah. I would have even had a tent there. Yeah. <laughs> so they have my, and they have my COVID. They, my man, no one is going no, anywhere. I, I literally can't wait for 2024 uh, to see man, more action. It, it, from I mean, you. to to yeah. clean. Yeah. To clean. It's like a rocket scientist. Ah. It just needs an understat. Oh, understat. We're gonna do. We're yeah. gonna do understat and like wire wire. Yeah. And unleash, mm. unleash. You know, a, a battalion, green battalions. Yeah. Who will be going there to, you know, pick up paper, mm-hmm. you know, of that? It's not green, man. Red. <laughs> Red battalion. You know, like green. Red. The things that oh, I think of I green because green environment. Yeah, yeah. Environment. Going yeah, green. Yeah, yeah, going green. green. Yeah, yeah, going green. Yeah, yeah, that's where I was going. <laughs> uh, you know, ah, yeah. We unleash Red battalion. <laughs> yeah. Understand and color day in, day out. I mm-hmm. said to who MMC will check there, say, hey, my man, look who cleaner, my bra. Mm-hmm. Ah, why don't you just give me this entity pick yeah. it up just I said no no let's yeah. give it to Trump incorporate it just incorporate yeah. it to save them <laughs> oh those 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 people yeah, will never will, sleep they can see flames there ah they will never sleep yeah we'll call them a pepper mm. just to clean yeah oh my man ah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes 
I said, and that's why I, I like to support you, Jack. You know, if he says he's gonna clean, I say I'm coming with you. Mm-hmm. I want us to clean it and push, you know. Yeah. And but he did raise an issue that sometimes at night, you know, there must be, you know, the security and all of that. I said, no, you want you want GMPD to clean with you at night. I'll give you GMPD. Mm-hmm. Let's let's clean, you know. Mm-hmm. Whatever you, you even if we you don't have nice clothes, but yeah. you must be clean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, True. And even the city, but no, the, the, the buildings are like this. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't have this nice infrastructure, but mm-hmm. cleaning. We just to pick up papers yeah. and ensure that the city is clean. I don't know what is difficult about that, but yes. <laughs> and EPWP guys, is not doing justice. Are they, they're not doing enough. Yeah, we need to, we need to get people. We need to, we need to clean at night. Yeah. And also, obviously, on our side, we, we have to uh, enforce the bylaws. The problem mm-hmm. that with the bylaw is that... Um, the issue of the workers is with the constitutional court. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says that the Department of Economic Development must develop a system mm-hmm. to say who is the permit holder for you know to do hawkering. Mm-hmm. So uh, there is a space allocated for for, one for the hawkers. Yeah, there is space allocated. Mm-hmm. So the city said before you can enforce bylaws in terms of. Um, you know who can sell here, who can sell here. That that, that system must be you know uh, uh, developed properly, and then mm-hmm. the city can approach the high court okay. to say, no, we've done that. It's fine. Then we can enforce the pilot that you you can't just uh, you know uh, uh, sell anywhere in the city. There yeah. are designated areas. Mm-hmm. I did when there. I inspected them. I saw that there's a high volume of people because we must not put our people. I know, mm-hmm. oh mama, those those people they. We actually grew up, yeah, uh, you know, in that uh, era where mm-hmm. or oh, oh, go go what we were actually hawkers, you yeah. know, and they they used to support us. So I checked the area and got know that there are many people who are passing here. Mm-hmm. And you know, I agree with economic development here and here and here. But now in the city, everyone is hawkering everywhere. Mm-hmm. So they, there's no control. It's becoming out yeah. of control. So it's making the city dirty. Yeah. So we need tight yeah. uh, bylaws. Yes, and and the reclaiming as yeah. well. I'm a reclaimers as well. That's what they do. They go there, they opening up those plastic bags and mess up the everything. So we need to ensure that when we uh, dispose of that rubbish mm-hmm. in whatever store there is, mm-hmm. it must be picked up quickly. Yeah. And the reclaimers must always be encouraged to to go to where we are dumping these things. And also mm-hmm. must just if the uh, city must create an area where the reclaimers mm-hmm. are there, you know, because the reclaimer guys are going there to take um, plastic, um, plastics, um, bottles and all of that. Mm-hmm. So when they do it in the city, they opening up those plastics and mess up the whole area. Oh. Yeah, well, that's the problem that uh, Jack is actually, that is he's having. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they would put all this rubbish in a plastic bag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, reclaimers, remember, they are looking for, 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 like, the, the bottles and mm. inside that so they will oh. open it up and start checking where's the bottle put inside they had creates a mess yeah. but he could not explain it properly in one of the interviews people they thought that good to know is the reclaimers which are dead mm-hmm. in the place no mm-hmm. it's not the owners of the shops in that area they put all this dead into a plastic mm-hmm. but you got the reclaimers who come mm-hmm. from time to time they go and open the, those bags yeah. Flip open and then they take whatever they want to take in that rubbish. Mm-hmm. They leave things as they are. That's why the city looks like that. Yeah. So I said they must intensify. You must get people cleaning at night. You must employ volunteers. Mm-hmm. Uh, they must have a shift morning, midday, late, picking up. Like you must mm-hmm. have sort of a block. Yeah. Yeah. You must have probably in a block there so many meters, maybe mm-hmm. a, a higher 20 or 10. Pick up the things as people yeah. go, pick up papers. Yeah, well, and I said also that they must talk to those business owners that to come to the party. Business owners must come to the party yes. and ensure that go they, themselves, you know, um, because some of them we've seen that they are hiding this rubbish in, the, in those bags. Mm-hmm. When you see the bags being displayed there, open them inside, they're going to find rubbish inside. Oh. So when I buy that that bag and yeah. I open it up, no. there's rubbish inside. Yeah, no, I think it needs a, a proper plan and the yeah. EFF is uh, capable of coming up with a very uh, lasting solution in that mm. end. And uh, the festive season is upon us. Mm. Um, as the MMC for Public Safety, uh, this must be a hectic uh, season for you. What is mm. the plan in place to ensure that holiday makers 
uh, residents of South Africa, in fact, enjoy a safer uh, festive season? There's going to be increased roadblocks. Mm -hmm. For those who like to drink and drive, there will be no mercy for those people. Please don't be irresponsible, drink and drive. I want, I want, I'm going to tell you now for free. By next week, we're launching that campaign. And from there, there will be roadblocks everywhere. Every corner of the city of Johannesburg. There will be checking license disc. There will be, you, you will have to blow to check if you're not drunk, drunky. You must check also that we're going to do search and seizure. I'm a boot, a mod. You are not carrying dangerous weapons and carrying drugs and all of that. Mm. So, next week, that roadblock, please, I don't want to be irritated. You know, my, my phone will be off that time. <laughs> <laughs> why? why is it off the phone? <laughs> yeah. And I said that I'm. Starting from Monday next week mm -hmm. is uh, Bazako Manje Namhlanje. In other words, ensure that your license is not expired. Make sure that your license disc is not expired because of harm. And make sure that when you drink, you don't drink and thrive. Mm -hmm. You can do all of those things of inhaling. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, and don't do crime because also in terms of crime, we're going to intensify uh, our crime combating unit. There's going to be a lot of operations in areas of um, uh, Orange Farm, mm -hmm. um, uh, Alex, Honeycue, Zansbury area, Deep Slot. Mm -hmm. So we're going to intensify our open operation. I don't want to say we're going to do scope and donor. Yeah. It's not going to be that. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not going to be that. Mm -hmm. But we're going to do nightlife. Yeah. We're going to ensure that the taverns don't, don't go all over up until, let's say, four in the morning, two o'clock. Actually, by one o'clock is a curfew. According to a curfew, okay. must go home. Yeah, take your alcohol and go and, 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 and sit at home. So uh, you must be very careful. Um, I even said to the, you know, to the guys, I said to, uh, to the district uh, provincial commissioner, mm -hmm. Gary, if you don't want to arrest the people, I've got a warehouse ready for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you them in that warehouse there. Yeah. I got a big, huge warehouse there, maybe where you can just mm -hmm. let people, uh, you know, uh, sober them up and everything. But people are going to be picked up. We must pick people up. Yeah. Um, and all those who are drunk and they are fine thing, they must be processed, must be taken to the police station. Mm -hmm. They must be charged. Um, and because, you know, the. We've seen that one of the source of crimes uh, is, is actual alcohol and mm -hmm. uh, also the criminality happens in the shipbins. Yeah. Once we close those shipbins, I'm not a fan of shipbins, I'm sorry. All those people that say the money, what, what, create job creation, I, I'm not party to do that. I've seen it in many areas like in uh, in uh, deep, in deep slot. We managed to, to get control of the place by shutting down taverns. Mm -hmm. And this tavern, many of them are not complying. Oh. They're not complying in terms of emergency exit. You've got people packed like sardines there, like, uh, like Quelenji. Yeah. yeah well, well, people are stashed Some and packed. Something license. that happened yeah. there in, 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 in East London. When they moved. You know, when oh, those kids, they those died there. Died, yeah. 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 They, yeah. when you go to uh, Alex, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, you can't even move. When you're like, puking this side. Yeah. Like, you don't know. It's mm. like, it's a misting. You don't know what's happening mm. in this tavern. It's, it's wrong, that thing. Yeah. I mean, our people, okay, it's fine. And the neighbors yeah. as well. I, I said to yeah. them that every time I go there, we're going to help you to comply. Yeah. Not that um, we are shutting you down because we don't want you to operate. And operate legal. Mm -hmm. Make sure that if the EMS says that you shall have 50 people here, when I come back, I must see 50 people inside, or else yeah. you're going to cause a stampede and a disaster. Mm. Yeah, those are those that happen there. That you have a small house, yeah. but they're probably close to 600 people. Mm. Stashed, and sometimes in these shipping, you can't even move. Us, 
when I have to go there and switch off that radio there, mm-hmm. he read unquas. They were, I can't even move. Mm-hmm. My dear, put uh, they're drunk. Hey, put yeah, how are you? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Yes, says. Would you, my, my dear, I love you. I'm you know? <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, hugging you like. <laughs> it's a I, 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 others are happy, but hey, yeah. it's the first time I was yes. there. Others are you taking and, selfies. Others like kiss you, <laughs> me, like my grandma. Tada, I'm saying it. When are you coming for some operation? Like? Yeah. Hey man. And then it's drunkenness. It's when they realize, good, hey, this is serious. We switch off the, the, the system. Oh. Good, it was JMPD. Yeah. Hey. But how cool! You know, sorry, sorry, so, 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 sorry. Put like, hey. and then we call the owner. Then we check if mm-hmm. the place complies mm-hmm. with the fire brigade. Where are the emergency exits and all yeah. of that? We look at the license, yeah. Well, but I wanna call on those on those guys of a liquor license. I think those, those people they 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 are, they are uh, I don't think that they are serious. Mm-hmm. The the liquor board, the liquor board. <laughs> They just issue licenses as if it's like, mm. I don't know. Uh, they, 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 there are people there with licenses that are 2008 old. There's a, there's a story between these guys, but I'm still trying to follow it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe we must, we must take them into account what is happening because yeah. many of the licenses we've seen, they are very old, 2008 licenses, 2013 licenses. They say the matter is in court mm-hmm. and those licenses are still valid and all of that. So... Um, so people have licenses. Yeah. That, that's why you can open anywhere. You know th- th- that liquor yeah. board are sleeping. There, those are those are sleeping people. I think. Mm. Ah, yeah, I, I think those are the ones who are killing the, the nation. Yeah. Those ones. And also these taverns. Sometimes this is we are in the exam uh, season. Mm. Uh, metric learners are sitting for their exams. Mm. They will make noise throughout the day and night. Yeah. So I think uh, it's a good uh, initiative that you have embarked on to ensure that uh, no tavern operator that doesn't have uh, the necessary uh, permit or a license. So you you, you have already said your you have uh, in fact you have outlined your plan for the festive season. So by mm. all indications, we're going to have the safest uh, festive season. Yeah, I remember that it's uh, our festive season mm-hmm. will be. It's actually now. It's starting now. Mm-hmm. The, the the criminality and partying. You know, because people are having lots of uh, mm-hmm. these uh, Christmas parties now. Yeah. It's going to go like that up until the sixteenth. The sixteenth, you know, people leave. They get out of, of Johannesburg, mm-hmm. and crime gonna start up again to increase on the second week of January. Oh. So this is a Big, we were entering a, a very hectic peak with JNP. That's why we're launching this coming week. Mm. Is that a, yeah? It's, it's a peak now because mm-hmm. remember, people are going to be the, the thugs are going. To, they're going to be cash in transit. They're mm-hmm. going to be robbing the malls. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're going to be there's going to be a lot of uh, pickpocketing and mm-hmm. you know uh, uh, all those things. Mm-hmm. It's going to be increase in the next week or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but we are in in, in the highest alert. Even yeah. the technical unit, the crime prevention, our technical our, our alert, and ourselves, the crime prevention in all the regions, our highest alert. Yeah, and that's why we're increasing uh, roadblocks everywhere. And I've asked now, the I've requested in the to the leadership of JMPD to 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 submit again the strategy for freeway patrolling mm-hmm. because it must be focused and targeted. Mm-hmm. We must, uh, if the people are robbing inside the city center or somewhere, we must be able to, uh, you know, to really chase them and be able to, yeah, to to really guard the area. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, that's what we are doing. And then after the the sixteen people go home, you you go to you go to Limpopo. Oh, yeah, go. Nam they are good dog and they are Yeah, yeah, but they good dog. Okay. Yeah, one of the first uh, <laughs> yeah. the, one of the cases I got Yeah, Castle Lamacas. Yeah, that does at the time go call go call. on Ama Yeah. Yeah, one. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> uh, I started knowing you um working very closely with you when you were deployed in Limpopo. Uh, in Limpopo. Yeah. Yeah, it was tough then. Ah, Limpopo yes. was tough. It's, it's we, like you were the risking team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was very tough at the, Yeah. No, Limpopo was the we we appreciate the mm-hmm. I mean the the, the you know, the deployment from the leadership and we knew what the leadership wanted to achieve in Limpopo. Mm-hmm. And um we 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 and what we found is that we 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 found 
uh, the fighters of Limpopo welcoming. Yeah. And they we worked quite very well. Uh, yeah. Skukune, I we I had a sea of submission of membership it was so was so shocking. Mm -hmm. Um, every week, uh, if you can even ask at home, every week I was there. Yeah. Every week from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, without fail. Mm. When I think of it again, God, I've never spent any weekend in Johannesburg. Yeah. Actually, every time I would leave uh, Skukune mm. on Monday because we had to meet them every time. The, the trick uh, that we were taught by the CIC and DP. Mm -hmm. And also by Komisam we say in terms of, you know, that's where I learned in terms of building structures and managing structures that you need to meet structures. Mm -hmm. You need to give them a target and you need to follow up. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to do. With the, you can't just say, people, no, no, thank you very much and be like a bishop. It's like a rally. You said, guys, <laughs> that's what we did with the, in, 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 the, in that place there. Mm -hmm. And without fail and and all of those companies that, that are the see there, officials are still owe them a party. Yeah. Uh, is that we agreed that we're going to be meeting every week. Mm -hmm. We're going to get reports. Mm -hmm. So we would give each other targets, 20 this week. Mm -hmm. Companies will go and work. And then we know that we're on, on, I'm arriving on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday late. Mm -hmm. We're having a reporting meeting to report, get the, the stuff. And then from then the following morning, yeah. I'll just go to the office, check everything is okay. Then from there I'll drive back to you know to you know, to Joe Yeah. So so th th that's what we've been taught is that, th that that's what actually drove us there. Yeah. The, the only thing I, I remember was that there was a lot of uh, membership that was coming in to a point that we didn't have a capacity to to capture mm -hmm. uh, e membership. So where to now? Uh, I think I remember. Uh, a, a DP had a, a problem with that because our membership was not corresponding mm -hmm. uh, with the membership national. Yeah. And then you find that when we went back and checked that a lot of our work has not been captured. So we, we captured a lot of our membership. Yeah. We got the students coming in and, and, and all of that. And I think even now to set up each things of VTF, that's so BETF, it should not be a problem because there they, they are they are people uh, yeah. in Asia in Bobo. It got a, a potentially huge one. Yeah. Um, uh, comrade, they're very loud with the EFF in the villages. They are welcoming the, the EFF. Yeah. Uh, we didn't have get any resistance. The other, there's an there's an area there that probably that what we might have to look at um, the area there, the mining area there. It's cocoon. It's cocoon, yeah. Yes. The mining area there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, that area there. So we need to zoom into that area at, at some point to. Mm -hmm. To to because those mining, you know, you know, uh, bosses is that they don't want the economic freedom fighters to really grow to flourish there. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, yeah, they yeah because there, yeah. yeah, they they will they they the 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 area became dangerous mm -hmm. because they've got hitmen's there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because once the EFF is strong there, it will fight for the rights of, of the people. Mm -hmm. And those mining posts, they don't want that. Mm -hmm. They always like to find ways to, you know, to kill the EFF around those areas. Mm -hmm. But it became very strong. The, the leadership of that area there, they worked very hard. Mm -hmm. We've managed to find people. But there was a big, you know, the, a resistance when yeah. they arrived. Yeah. A big resistance. Yeah. But um, you, you managed to yeah, stabilize. In the, that, uh, that, that belt there. Mm -hmm. the, 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 that belt. I still feel that, you know, I should have done more there in mm -hmm. that belt because that, that's the area where the EFF support is, is going to be very, very strong because yeah, the there's a lot of moment. exploitation of mm -hmm. the miners there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, those mining uh, magnets there and Anglo-American and all of this. Anglo-American, mm -hmm. uh, they're still exploiting our, our, our people there mm -hmm. quite a lot. Mm -hmm. But then we had lots of marches and a uh, um, lot of pickets Yes, to a point that uh, you will have anonymous calls at night. But what are you doing? Why are you choosing this mine? Mm. Uh, why? Why this mine? You yeah. know. And then also, um, there's these issues of the projects. These projects on the road, um, you know, the road uh, construction projects. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then you'll find you're that on the ground patching potholes at some point. Yeah. Yes. No. Now what happens is that mm. uh, we we found that also is that. 
when these people they found that they've got the revolutionaries who are fighting for the people, the activists. Mm -hmm. Now these construction ma uh, uh, mafias or these white monopoly capital mm -hmm. uh, uh, things companies they will sponsor uh, people to deal with these individuals. Oh. Mm, so just activists who are fighting for the rights of the community to, to get jobs, mm -hmm. they will target them. But people, but the EFF has been has been uh, fighting that that battle mm -hmm. and they, they actually held the fort. Mm -hmm. And when we got there, we even uh, assisted as well. We, you know, um, yeah, there were some other individuals who started coming to our offices, asked us who are they and all of that. We tell them straight up yeah. that we're not into those things. If they want to fight, we're going to give them a fight. Yeah, And they must ensure that when they come to the area, they must employ the area, the people in that area. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that... Uh, that we actually did. But it was a very fun, fun Yeah, moment. it was. And uh, yeah, yeah, uh, to that yeah. end, I think uh, 2024 <laughs> is just around the corner. The EFF is going to nationalize those uh, mines and uh, the, the struggles of yeah. our people will be the thing of the past. Yeah. Now, having talked uh, at length about your deployment uh, in Johannesburg um, as the MMC, and uh, you're also serving uh, at the CCT, uh, how do you... F navigate around you know uh, managing your personal life and work uh, what do you do when you're not at work do you even get a chance to be you know yourself mm. and maybe you go play football or you go swimming yeah. <laughs> something like that yeah <laughs> in my spare time i play hip-hop oh okay a lot of hip-hop dr dre is it Mike check one two yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go one two like that <laughs> <laughs> wow that's one, good two okay. three two the four no the dog you know yeah. like, like that you know okay. so we do like uh, I, I love hip hop mm -hmm. um, and then also I I love to I like to go back to some of my notes mm -hmm. um, I had on um, on uh, mathematics okay. I'm a fan of uh, complex mathematics okay the we can solve X now. Within All this thing of solving it, it's something abstract, <laughs> like um, yeah, it's non, yeah, it's, a non it's the <laughs> like the it's a Riemann, uh, you know, like you know the the, the Riemann geometry, yeah, uh, hein borel theorems, mm. uh, you know, um, uh, and also there are some of the unsolved, uh, there are unsolved problems of mathematics. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get fascinated with people who, who sort them out after a decade, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I like I like to looking into those and um and I'm I'm catching up on those and also physics mm -hmm. um elect and then I worked a lot on electronics mm -hmm. over the during the, the COVID times. Okay. I remember because. I came from a technical background. Oh. So By the way, you're a doctor. Yeah. So the technical, uh, yeah. you know, uh, I was in a technical school. So yes. I used to do fitting and turning. Mm -hmm. um, I did fitting and turning mechanics. Uh, I did woodwork. Uh, I did the brick laying. Mm -hmm. And I did heavy current and light current. Heavy current yeah. is, is you make those, you know, the, you know, the transformers. Yeah. And then light current, we did the viral boards, the... Then we'll do a, what is called a flip flop circuits back in the days and all of that. So um, I went back to you know, do those stuff. So in my spare time, I like to go back to that. And and what I I, I found mm -hmm. very interesting there was that how come I did not know about Marxism and when? Leninism? No, no, no well, I'm just saying. Yeah. Every time when I am <laughs> like, yeah, hey man, you should have known it long time. Like, ago. yeah, like mm -hmm. you know because. When someone explained it to me uh, mm -hmm. in in two thousand and eight, there yeah they used to talk about uh, dialectics, you know. Uh, they used to talk about that, you know, mm -hmm. what is the, the dialectics, you yeah. know, and, and Tina in science will talk about matter. Mm -hmm. Matter is you know something that is moving every time, it's in constant motion, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And then they were trying to say, no, this is the science and. You know what I'm what what I'm doing in terms of political yeah. science. It's the almost the of same forces. thing. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. Hey man, get it, but and then they came with this guy Marx, Marx, Marxism, and Leninism. Yo, mm -hmm. and they said dialectical materialism. What is this thing? Yeah. Yo, it took me time. Yeah. Uh, Two thousand. I started hearing about that uh, these concepts of uh, socialism, mm -hmm. and communism, in two thousand and eight. Because remember. Yeah. One people that one they don't know is that uh, 
Um, I was a member of the ANC in a branch, mm -hmm. but I was not active. When yeah. vote and if you talk, we are going to zoom. We are zoom. If we talk, we are going big. We are going big. Yeah. We are in jail. We are among them. We are trying. We are trying. We are young up. Yeah, good. So in 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 two thousand and six, mm -hmm. I was in. I was working. I I used to work for Sasso. Mm -hmm. I started working for Sasso in two thousand, mm -hmm. and then uh, I worked for up until for four for for four. For mm -hmm. four years, mm -hmm. then I went to Deben. When I was in Deben, you know, we partied in Deben like hard. Yeah, but there was, I didn't go to Deben for the sake of being promoted. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to party. Yeah, party, party, and then playing hip hop, playing hip hop. Yeah, I was blasting hip hop every <laughs> yeah. Thursday. I used yeah. to go to Pet Center. Yeah, basically Zulu boy. I know Zulu boy. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Zulu boy. Yeah, yeah, Zulu Bizos. Is I know it? Zulu boy. I'm in uh, I met him. I'm not that close to him, but I mm -hmm. met him through my friend Lumko. Lumko. Try to do some work for us when we started EFF. One mm -hmm. um, uh, the these hip hop heads. Mm -hmm. um, I used to say that the, the time of Tira, they were, they were starting it happened, it happened, don't don't it happened, it happened finance. Yeah, yeah, well, the, 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 the was a dead band. Yeah, ah, <laughs> it's the <a> power. <laughs> yeah. 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 starting sky power. Hulu, I'm not any more than the hatchback. Yeah, uh, it started from the bottom. This guy, the mm -hmm. you know, and and then I was there at every Thursday. I went to bed center, like open mic session. Yeah, yeah, boy, Zulu boy. Yeah, I can. Yeah, Zulu boy was my best friend. Okay, uh, paper cut, uh, hip hop heads. Yeah, I was not too much into those things of your yeah um, of house and everything, but hip hop was my main my main thing. So so yeah. Um, so yeah, and then I I I I, I, I did that. Yeah, um, and then, so every at night, man, beku. So we'll party Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. You know, Saturday like hey, you know headache. Friday, okay, it's a slow down because Thursday night yeah. you're in a hip hop session. Hey, yeah. you, you have a headache. Mm -hmm. And that time I used to have off. I'm all, I'm all off on on Fridays. Uh, there were a lot of if you work a lot, fix mm -hmm. the hours. You can leave work at. 11 ish, I'm a flexi hour. So mm -hmm. I know that I, I'm gonna come with a headache. I'm just gonna show myself at work. Yeah. 11 o'clock, I'm leaving. Then we party hard on Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then Sunday, I see things that are being put in my stage, you saw in town. Mm -hmm. And what is happening? I don't know. Zuma is coming here. <laughs> Hey, now I will join there. Yeah, the, go. yeah now I will join now, woman. Yeah. You man in city. I didn't even know what was it. But then I was with you. Hey, I didn't even know what was it. Yeah. Now it's like, we don't know what is happening. I yeah. said, I'm joining. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. no, 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 there's a, what did you see under? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we are funny, we we. Oh, yeah, that yeah. song, that, song, that yeah, guy, yeah, yeah, the, the yeah. DJ. Okay. Usian. So mm -hmm. we'll go there. I didn't know, but okay. And I said, good. They don't know what they are. And the bambes. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. This, <laughs> now, now yeah. the one who don't know this guy is all right. And mm -hmm. the good guy. And then you see, see, I see talking there. And, yeah. And you're like, ah, no, no, no. Hey, yeah. maybe this guy. You're yeah. conflicted. And then, you don't know which one is No, good they guy. said, ah, this guy is all right. <laughs> yeah. You know, they, 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 they are, you know, they, they, they are actually, um, uh, uh, this same show is a good guy. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they are, you know, they want to suppress him, mm -hmm. want to deal with him. Ain't hard, yeah. Hey, and I mistake him. I went to East London. Yeah, I when I went to, that was in two thousand and six. That two at four, at five six. I I went to a holiday after two years. That yeah. when attendance was in you know, those show, those uh, yeah. court cases. Yeah, one. Mm -hmm. I'm not even. Like I'm the active member, but mm -hmm. send the for we have solos. They have no this guy is like this. Yeah. Ah, I went to East London. But I don't don't support that guy. You must do <laughs> big. Yeah. I'm big, you know. Hey, I don't even know I don't even know him big properly. Mm -hmm. I, I don't yeah. even I didn't even understood where he speak. Mm -hmm. He was speaking very deep English. Yeah. And then and then I know ah, no, let me not support this guy, man. Mm -hmm. I, I think shy um big. Ah. Yeah. I shy Pulugan and Danga. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. I was one of the team now that went to cope. Oh, that, that's that's how when, I went to uh, cope. Former president uh, there was uh, a lost lost, lost the conference. Yeah, in yeah. So there was yeah. a national consultation in Sentin. Yes, 
I was there with, we just went for a consultation. I know no, this woman are going to talk and mm-hmm. what is to be done. Then those things are going to go up with as Marxist. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and so as a Marxist Leninist, about what is to be done. I probably was about uh, the, the democracies, what was mm-hmm. hey, that? Uh, let me go and listen there. Yeah. I found myself in COPE. <laughs> Yeah. And getting a oh, and by the way, cope emanated from that from, yeah, frustration. From that when, frustration, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 former president, Tawang yeah, there was a group of Jacobson. elites there. Now, when you're able to analyze it now, I mm-hmm. mean, Gogam more mature and politically. <laughs> yeah. But the group of elites disgruntled. Mm-hmm. They did not know. I mean, they were just yeah. angry because remember now the balance of forces were shifting in the ANC mm-hmm. from the you know from the bourgeoisie. Yeah, it was now the forces were pulling to the left hand. I mean, they were not to, were not to the left leaning class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But remember, ANC is a, is a centrist. Yeah, uh, you know, it's a it's a but it club is actually but in don't Yeah. It's a broad church. Mm-hmm. It's got everything there. So the, the, the balance of forces can be those of, a, you know, the capital is the bourgeoisie. Yeah. They will pull it in that direction, mm-hmm. which is what is happening right now. Yeah. When when still won, those forces of... A, yeah. A, so now that time, it was those left-leaning class, mm-hmm. which were the... <clears throat> that, that uh, If you remember that campaign was... It was a, 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 a run by the SSCP and the NCOSAT. So there was a left-leaning class yeah. that was pulling now the balance of forces... Oh. Away from okay. because Mtabo Mtabo is more right leaning, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, mm-hmm. so go go there that time it was uh, the balance of the forces left. were going to the left, and mm-hmm. now this one, this bourgeoisie now, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. but when we go there, uh, so, so we're not gonna have a voice here, mm-hmm. we better go and form our own thing. They went and formed their thing, and then Shiloa and Terra mm-hmm. they, they they fought, uh, you know, we can even tell a lot of stuff there, yeah. Uh, there, if you if you know chaos, mm-hmm. oh, you must know there. That's, that's why when you speak about democracy, yeah, yeah. you, you see how the EFF um, built its structures and, you know, uh, um, it was founded. It was mm-hmm. founded first, had a founding manifest, a reason. It's based in terms of this founding manifesto. Mm-hmm. What happened, what is happening right now, and who are we, and what are the motive forces? So yeah. in other words, there was a proper diagnosis yes. of what is happening. It yes. was not formed out of... And consultations. And consultations yeah. were there, you mm-hmm. know. So so what, what made EFF, I mean, to really uh, last this long, it's its foundation. Yeah. The leadership actually thought it very thorough in terms yeah. of they had a foundation. They had a reason to form why mm-hmm. you have to form a political party. Mm-hmm. And they looked at what happened. They look at the material conditions. They look in terms of what is happening mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. and what does this party seek to achieve. They look yeah. at a founding document, mm-hmm. which is there. So they, they had a very, the EFF has a very solid foundation. Yeah. Even if you are lost, you, 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 sometimes you get lost, you get confused. Mm-hmm. But that founding document is yeah. there. What does who are we? The Marxist Leninist phenomenon we subscribe to so Marxism Leninism yeah. phenomenon school a school of thought. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, one. Uh, and then also in terms of who our motive forces, yeah, one. Yes, why and yeah, one. Yeah. So Wongum to Kwan, yeah, it it does say that what it, it comes up with that. So mm-hmm. what's so powerful about and I think that coming from uh, back in the days in the ANC, seeing how it is and then when to cope. And see how uh, wobbly, you know, was the uh, political part, and mm-hmm. how incoherent, co- incoherent. Oh, incoherent, incoherent. Yeah. yeah, how incoherent it was in terms yeah. of how the the, the, the information was mm-hmm. was flowing, because province could reject what the national says. Oh, <laughs> the center was not holding like that. Yeah, you would. There was a time <laughs> that when Gauteng had its own constitution. Yeah. Gauteng had his own constitution. Gauteng of COPE? Or? Yeah, of COPE. Yeah. Had his own constitution. Mm. And they, they, they know. Ah. Yeah. And then it was actually... <laughs> so yeah, And now they keep on firing each other. Exactly. The, the so you will have a directive from National, but yeah. all words must be, must be, all branches must be word-based, and then you'll have Gauteng, but we reject that. Mm. Words must be VD-based. 
And then you find that there are people who are agreeing and shouting that yeah. yes, we're going to do what yeah. this. I think that's the danger of forming a political party without substance, but out of frustration and yeah. anger because you risk not having an ideology mm. and uh, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have a constituency that understands yeah. where you're from and where you're going. Yes. Now, And also the, the, the concept of democratic system centralism, yeah. very powerful. Mm -hmm, indeed. Yeah, very powerful. Yeah. You debate and trash the issues, but once the item is closed yeah. and, and you know you take the view of the majority, yeah. the majority must, must follow. Yeah, It indeed. must be like, like that, yeah. yeah. And the uh, decisions of the upper structure are binding. binding. On the must be like structure. that. Yeah. Must be. And uh, <laughs> that I support, even if sometimes one good yeah, as if you, I'm supposed to but so mm -hmm. but the majority is saying this, mm -hmm. it, it, it's fine. Yeah, and I think that uh, that concept. I mean, we've uh, drawn inspiration from mm -hmm. the thing is from the mm -hmm. from 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 the Vanguard Party yeah. that was in Russia in terms of its characteristics. Yeah, we've actually drawn inspiration from the that that one had a, a thing is yeah. know, democratic system yeah. was at the center of building the party. Yeah. So, Commissar, before we get lost in the trail of thought, um, you're such a busy man. Um, do you find time? For your family, yes. Um, a, 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 a commissar mm -hmm. must be able to be an all rounder. Oh yes, yeah. Must be an all rounder. Mm -hmm. Must be able to do time. Must multitask. Okay. Yeah. I think I must learn a thing or two. Yes. Yeah, so must be able to multitask. Must have yeah. time for family. Okay. Time for organization. Time for governance. Time mm -hmm. for work. Everything. You always find time. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Um, Yeah, so but uh, you must be in the all around. Sometimes yeah. you can see me there, you know, um, with the, being academic. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, articulating issues of mathematics yeah, and you physics. You need to be absorbed in the And then you'll find me there then, with the rally voice, yeah. you know, agitating the masses. Yeah. Then you'll find me in church praying. Oh, okay. Sometimes you'll find me hip hop dancing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you must be an all rounder. Yeah. And then you find me at home watching movies with families and relaxed. Yeah. You know, yeah, so okay. I do have time. Yeah. And 2024 is upon us. 2024 yeah. is our 1994. Yes. Um, do you think the EFF uh, is ready to take government, yeah, given the work that we have been we're more uh, than ready. We are hungry, actually, for yeah. government. And we are, we're going to take over. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the people must understand that the, the EFF is going to be presiding on their affairs. Mm -hmm. the, I can see sometime in the... In these two departments where we are in, you born good time administrators. I don't understand good tea we are here. Yeah. I don't understand we are here as we are living. Yeah. I always tell them, we'd get used to it. We're, We're not going stay. anywhere. Yeah. We're in government now. Yeah. You know, you can't say anything without the EFF. Yeah. We're born in the corridors, must be EFF. Actually, in that department, I want to put in seven cardinal pillars. Yeah. And one of the areas I want to put red there, the seven cardinal pillars. Yeah. People to know good we're here. Mm -hmm. We want to we enter in government next uh, next 2024. Yeah, yeah, going for president straight. Yeah, going and uh, our, our people have come out in their numbers to register to vote yes. over the past weekend, the voter registration weekend. So indeed, uh, I believe the EFF uh, has been oiled. The machinery has been oiled, and uh, we're ready to take government. Thank you very much. Uh, mm. Uh, Commissar Dr. Mkini Twako, yeah. uh, such a pleasure having you on the show. Yeah, no people have they've they've they, they actually misunderstood understood EFF. I think that yeah. the media um, um, um they've been positioning uh, EFF in a bad light. Yeah. But I'm happy that now we've got our communication the way I was like, <clears throat> going to communicate with the other. Mm -hmm. There were so many people that we are interacting with now because we're actually talking to All the sectors, your professionals, your Google's, every every people. They mm -hmm. sometimes they got a different view about the EFF. Yeah. So so people are are receptive of the EFF, and people now are thirsty for for service to, to deliver. Yeah. This issue of that good to, we went to, you know, we went to what's that thing? We went to, to exile. Oh, exile. We fought yeah. for you. Yeah. Uh, we did thank them for 30 years now. We yeah. thanked them. We've celebrated them. We've came with the eye. Now it's service delivery. <laughs> they must hand it over this thing. Yeah. This machine say, if only the machine, man. Mm -hmm. We want to deliver on steroids to our people. Yeah. Our people must give us a chance. Yeah. That's only four years. Mm -hmm. We're going to see this thing turning around. Industrialization is at the center of the policy of the EFF. We must yeah. create industries. Yeah. People must, must work. Mm -hmm. 
People must work up under currently about seven. When the ANC when it comes, it de-industrialized. Mm -hmm. You just want me when people to, you know, to be fed. You want yeah. people to be dependent. You need to have industries. Yes. So at the center of the the the, the you have the yeah, that's why you have been saying lands and job, land and job. Oh, land and jobs. Yes. Abandu bafuna yeah. umhlaba. You want the land mm -hmm. to build uh, all the, the factories, everything you want, mm -hmm. to to also do agriculture to feed yourself. And then jobs, jobs. That's where now say we're going yeah. to industrialize. Yeah. That's why about they, they talk about motive forces. Mm -hmm. So when you the, when they vote EFF, yeah. they're gonna get land and the jobs yeah. manage. Yeah. Not to tomorrow. And it's and it's possible. It is possible. It's possible. It we, is went, possible we, we went there. Sometimes we do go overseas. Yeah. Um, you know, and check out and look at what, what are those mission people doing there. Mm -hmm. I think that personally they 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 are doing those things for their selfish interest. They're not uh, bringing companies to. Yeah. You know, for people, I, I've seen, I've seen others there in Thailand. Yeah. And then when I was in the legislature, we went to look at the factories assembling cars. The entire Thailand most is one of the headquarters where yeah. they're making cars and oh, all that. Yeah. yeah. So we were a couple of companies. I mm -hmm. thought, why don't you go to South Africa? Yeah. And no, they said, I, yeah. They said no, just create a path. Yeah. We said, give, bring your assembly. Yeah. A line to, to South, South Africa. Yeah. So they're no, there. With you being a part of the EFF, I think everything will be achieved. Yeah. Uh, and next sure. year, it is the, the right time for us to, in fact, uh, yeah. uh, you know, set the wheels in motion. And <laughs> we've come to the end of today. So thank you very much, uh, Dr. Chwaku, for coming through. A lot to talk about. Yeah. But uh, in the interest of time, we're going to leave it here for today. But I do hope we are going to catch up with you uh, some other time. We have come to the end of today's uh, episode and uh, remember to go to our YouTube channel and click uh, subscribe for more on the EFF uh, podcast. My name is Titus Tungo. Until we meet again, good day. Stand up, South Africa. Make sure that South Africa, you are counted with me. Run, South Africa. Stand and make sure that our people understand that the need to be revolution in South Africa is guaranteed that under the EFF, this country will be the better. EFF is a